Hey everyone, Dan here with Vivid Racing and today we are going to do an ECU flash on this Can-Am Maverick X3 RS with our VR tune system that's all done via the diagnostic port. Once you receive the OBD2 to diagnostic cable from us, you simply just need to plug this in. And this is a direct fit, no splicing, wiring, anything, don't have to remove your ECU. This goes right into the connector, which is below the uh, glove box. So we plug this in. And with this plugged in and going through the VR Tune website, downloading the application, reading the instructions, of course, once that's done, we're able to then start the ID process, which you'll do an ID of your vehicle so we know which software number you have so we can send you back a Tune file. And then once that's done, then you do the flashing process. So right now we're gonna jump right to flashing the tune file. So everything launched up here, we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn the ignition on because you have to have power to the car. So we'll start that. So ignition is on, application is launched. We're gonna go through the prompts. We have uh, your basic kind of legal mumbo jumbo, um, don't kill yourself, don't break stuff. Uh, if you have questions, blah, blah, blah. So we go to I agree, and then it goes to next. And this checks battery status, your computer speed, processor, things like that. Hit next again, and here we're going to uh, communicate to confirm that the communication between the application and the ECU is working. So it goes through these steps here. And you can see we've now identified the VIN. So this is the VIN of the vehicle. Um, we need to select the ECU type. The ECU in the Can-Am, it's a Bosch ME 7.8. And do we know that's correct? Yes. Now we go ahead and hit, hit the next button. And here it shows us again our VIN, the software number, and the hardware number. Now with the Can-Am ECU, uh, you can either upgrade or downgrade the software. So this particular one ends in 0VLS3. Um, if for some reason you had a 0VLS2, this would be an upgrade, vice versa. Um, either way, you can use you know, uh, the different software versions on the different can -Ams. So, um, Since we've already done the ID and we already have the tune file, we're gonna go right into the writing process. So we need to check on here software options. Do not calculate checksums. Okay. Program ECU memory. Tells you that it's not gonna calculate checksums, yes. Now we're gonna select the file that we want. And so we need to find it where we stored it on our computer. So we will go, and here we have a stage one file. So we're gonna double click that. And now it's gonna go through the programming part. Uh, flashing the ECU with the uh, VRTune iFlash system takes about two to three minutes um, using other tools uh, from some different companies, it can take upwards of 25 minutes. So this does it fairly quickly. The, the first step as it goes through is it says erasing memory. So this is a full, um, full file. So it erases all the data on the ECU, all the maps, and then it starts programming. And you can watch it program uh, by address line, which to most of us, none of that matters. But it gives you the percent complete, time remaining, et cetera. And even though it says nine minutes, it's already down to eight, down to seven, and it goes pretty quick. So once this is done, um, all we have to do is uh, hit the OK, turn the ignition off, and then turn it back on and start the car and we should be flashed and ready to go. The nice thing with the VR tuned iFlash system is you get the stock file as well as a tune file. So with your end user cable and a PC laptop or a tablet, anywhere you are, you can flash between tune stock. You don't need to have licenses, be connected to the internet. All you need to do is have your cable and a Windows-based laptop. Um, you might have a stage one, two file, you might have a high altitude file, you might have your stock file. So if you're down in the low desert or in you know, a low elevation, you run your regular file. If you go to a high elevation, you can easily program it. So that way you don't have to wait on a shop or pay for an extra license or file anything like that. So the whole VRT and iFlash system is really convenient. Um, we worked and developed this with Freeling Racing to really have a, a good solution that's plug and play. Um, and it's, it's been working well so far. So 
We're down to two minutes already. Um, and we're coming up to just under two minutes. And we will quickly have the stage one tune flashed. Okay, now it says turn the ignition off, so we'll toggle that. So ignition is toggled, so we just click this button, ignition is off. And based upon my time counter, this whole process took just under six minutes to flash. Once the ignition off counts down, um, then it'll tell us the ECU has been flashed successfully. So we just hit OK. And we're done. So now we want to just start the car and make sure it starts OK, no issues. And there you have it, the uh, Can-Am X3 program from stock to tuned. The simplest and easiest way to get more power, more performance, and very convenient use with the VR-Tune iFlash.